Can a speech synthesizer be created using an ESP32 in just a dozen lines of code? First, you need to download the ESP8266 audio library by Earl Phil Hauer from GitHub. Next, you need to download the ESP8266 SAM library, also by Earl Phil Hauer. Here is the simplest possible implementation. And here's how it works. First, of course, you need to include the libraries. Next, we need to create pointers to the audio out and SAM objects. Next, we create an instance of the audio library. Next, we need to tell the audio library which pins to use for each of the I squared S signals. Then, we initialize the audio library ready to use. Now, we create an instance of the SAM library. And finally, we use the say command to speak. Note that we specify the audio library here so that Sam knows where to stream the audio data to. Hello world. To make it even simpler, you can connect a transistor and a resistor to the ESP32 and drive a small speaker directly, but it will be very quiet. The GitHub documentation for ESP8266 audio provides a variety of options. Here is the code to make it work on an ESP32 board without I2S, just a transistor, resistor and a speaker. The output is on pin D22. Here is the schematic for hooking up a speaker. I used a BC548 transistor because I have hundreds of them. You should be fine to use any small signal NPN transistor. And there you have it, 11 lines of code, 20 cents worth of components and a speaker is all it takes to make an ESP32 speak. There is also a lot of information about how SAM was reverse engineered from the original Commodore 64 software that's well worth a read. This video is intended to provide anyone interested in adding speech to a project with the quickest possible tutorial to get them started, but also can a speech synthesizer be created using an ESP32 in just a dozen lines of code? Pass. By the way, you may have noticed a number of errors in the code. Here's how it should actually look. I cobbled this together a bit too quickly by copying and pasting from other projects, but did not proofread my code very well.